With the 19th pick of the first round of the 2018 MLS Super Draft, NYC FC select from the University of Virginia goalkeeper Jeff Caldwell. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I think uh, I think that was the first kind of sentiment by everybody as they as they got up there and uh, wow, you know. Um, even even though you know we're obviously here for a reason and, and you're confident and that you're gonna get picked up someplace and you know sit, sitting in there, hearing the, hearing your name finally get called is uh, kind of an indescribable experience and um, and for it to be at a such a massive club and such of uh, you know with with such kind of storied guys around it with uh, Patrick Vieira, David Villa. Uh, one of my, you know, personal uh, heroes from from the University of Virginia, Claudio Reyna. Um, I, I just, I just can't, can't, you know, contain my excitement. Get ready. That must be a really special feeling when you know that Patrick Vieira and Claudio Reyna want to bring you to the club. That's, uh, yeah, I don't think it really kind of fully processes <laughs> like that yet. Um, I'm, I'm more just kind of um, trying to soak it in. Um, I'm sure a lot of that will kind of will sink in shortly, but uh, you know. I, there's just there just can't be a, a you know kind of a wealth of information in terms of a footballing sense. It can't be a better opportunity anywhere in the league, and and you know I don't think there's many places in the world where you can get a better environment than that. Yeah, we've really saw him uh, throughout the year. Uh, first of all, he has really good feet. Uh, he's experienced. He's had four really good years at, at the University of Virginia. He's a, a mature goalkeeper who'll fit into the pro environment right away with Patrick and we expect them to compete with, with our goalkeepers. And we're really excited about it. We thought, uh, as, as it's shown, we thought goalkeepers were, uh, uh, are becoming a premium in MLS uh, with expansion. And I think in college, you have a lot of goalkeepers that come through the system and are, and are, are well prepared. And you know, we're excited to have him join us. So we, he was uh, uh, our target, and, and he landed with us. So we're excited. You know, when you um, look at the quality um, of the players, he's um, technically really good. Um, you know, we discussed with Rob about um, the ability, and um, and we are really happy with the with the pick we had. I think with the way that uh, we play, um, it's really comfortable having the ball on his feet. He is um, really strong physically, and um, of course, um, he's got some part of the games that he needs to develop. But we are really pleased with our pick. I am a quicker guy. Um, you know, I've never been a guy who towers above everyone or anything like that. I consider myself a cerebral goalkeeper, so uh, you know, I, I like to you know take the time. You know, the finer points, positioning, everything. I mean, it's 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 such an experienced position. It's such a nuanced position. Um, I think uh, I think you know that's one of my strong suits is just thinking through the game and, and, and analyzing. And, and learning. I'm really excited for the opportunity to go to a place where I know that'll be encouraged and developed, um, and, and I, I can't wait. And I hope to thrive there. Sean Johnson's a guy who's, who's you know, been doing it uh, really well for a long time. Um, I've, I've followed him since he was with uh, with youth national teams. I admire his game. I admire, uh, I admire. I think you know his his approach as a person, um, and I think uh, especially this year it was really fun to see him thrive after you know uh, after the move. I worked with uh, Brad Stuber a, a, a bit, uh, a short stint in my time, so he's a guy I'm familiar, uh, some familiarity with. You know, I, I hope to uh, be able to join that core and, 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 and um, contribute and learn and just uh, you know hopefully maintain just a high level that, that's already there. It's all about um, try to challenge each other. Um, you know it's going to be uh, it's going to be really difficult, but this is the the way it's going to be in every single position. Players will have to work really hard. Players will have to be professional. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, they have to think about football 24 hours a day, and uh, and I think that will uh, bring the best of each uh, one of them. And uh, and that is why the level of the team will raise. We um, of course did our home uh, homework about all the players that uh, that we wanted to, um, in a draft and um, you know we, we wanted to be sure that we're going to bring the, the right person to fit in the dressing room. You know we just confirm that he's a, he's, a, he's a really good person, he's a really humble person and um, he's going to work really hard uh, for the football club and, um, and we are glad. Unbelievable support here in Philadelphia. Um, I, you know, I couldn't, couldn't be more thrilled uh, to, to see that energy. Um, you know, I, I hope to hope to be a part of City for for years to come, and I look forward to, to getting to know this uh, these supporters, and, and hopefully, uh, 
we have some really, really fun times ahead where, where trophies are lifted and, and, uh, and, and I'm just excited to get a, get a, get a start. To New York City, thank you for, for believing in me. I can't wait to get to know you guys really, really well. To that other team in New York, um, I'm sure I'll be hearing some of your creativity as well. But, uh, but it'll, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a pleasure. So thank you, New York City. Yeah!